Hello and welcome to Warriors TV live from The Rock. Uh, Stenhouse Muir take on Dumbarton in what could be the most memorable of memorable days for the club. The Warriors have only one win in their last seven games, but one more victory could be the most important in 140 years should Peterhead fail to win at home to Clyde this afternoon. Dumbarton hosts after back-to-back -back wins, including the 6-2 demolition of playoff rivals Spartans and a comfortable victory here against Bonnie Reg Rose last week, and will have their sights firmly set on another League Two playoff campaign as Stevie Farrell looks to bring League One football back to Castle Road. In terms of the teams, ex-warrior Sean Creighton returns to the Suns starting 11 for the first time in nearly four weeks since the 5-0 defeat at Stair Park. He's in at the expense of Ryan Blair, who has not made the matchday squad and is Stevie Farrell's only change, apart from Calvin Orsi, who is back on the bench for the hosts. Gary Naismith makes four alterations to the side that drew at Oakleview against Peterhead as James Berry, Jordan Kirkpatrick, Brad Rodden and top scorer Matty Aitken are on the bench. In come Adam Brown who makes his first start since the defeat to Clyde. Ross Taylor who got the winner the last time these two sides met. Ewan O'Reilly and Matty Yates who will play as a lone striker draw or a defeat for the Warriors and it will rumble on to next week but here's an early corner and it's a, not a bad chance there for Dumbarton an even better one now held by Jameson Sun's nearly taking the lead inside the opening 45 seconds Hilton plays it short to Ruth and gets it back and for a second it looked like he'd got the cross all wrong and it was nearly poked in at Jameson's near post. First opportunity for Stennis Muir to get the ball in the box via free kick. It's a very, very interesting position. And it comes from Brown. And there's the header from Buchanan over the bar. And how sweet would that have been for the former Dumbarton centre-back to get on the score sheet today. Still plenty of time. It's it back from Kinley Billum. Really good tackle by Aaron Linus. Ruth picks up the loose header. Feeds Finlay Gray. And there's the header, and it's had Jameson scampering. The corner kicks awarded despite Jameson's protests. Jameson Buchanan, Wedderburn in the box. It's towards Jameson. And he's really frustrated he couldn't keep that on target, Nicky Jameson. Anderson finds Yates. He's got a great chance and it's matched by the save from Hogarth. Matty Yates did everything right, but so did Jay Hogarth. Brown into the six yard box, Linus underneath it. Might drop for Buchanan, he's cleared away. And that's a wild one from Jameson and it's allowed Gray to run at the defence and he's got Ruth as a man over and he's brought down cynically by Buchanan. And 
it's all kicked off here. And a professional foul from Buchanan results in the yellow card. He was never going to keep up with Finlay Gray. Drop for Taylor, Brown's there. And O'Reilly moves it to his left and just narrowed the angle for himself and he couldn't get it on target. Hilton just bails out Linus. Yates, lovely ball into the path of Taylor. And Taylor's got a lot of space in front of him and he'll have the shot but gets it all wrong, Ross Taylor. He's looking to strike across that. He's just sliced it wide. Meekin in towards Taylor who finds Brown with a cute header. And Brown might fancy this on his left, he does, and it wasn't too far away, just shaves the side netting of Hogarth's goal. The division. Again, Stennis Muir just need to pick up all three points here first and foremost. Got a very difficult Dumbarton side to deal with here. And there's the effort, just flashed wide Jameson's post. Really good strike. And it had Jameson stranded. Flick on for Yates. Yates against Crichton and that. It's a really presentable opportunity for Taylor, any touch, and surely Stennis Moore would be in front. Here's his new break for Hilton, who tried to find Ruth, but Wallace is there. Denied by Jameson. And so it is another stalemate for Stennis Muir. It's a fourth consecutive draw. It's a third goalless draw in those four. And the wait goes on in the search of glory for the Warriors. An even game, not much at all between the two sides. Matty Yates perhaps had the best chance in the first half when he had a clear sight of goal and forced the save from Hogarth. But it has ended here goalless once again. It's another point on the way, but it's not the afternoon that Stennis Muir perhaps had in mind. It's finished here at the Rock. It's Dumbarton now. It's Stennis Muir now.